Hey guys, peace, love, and light. Thanks for clicking on and watching and beyond the spectrum. <clears throat> so I just wanted to come on real quick because I'm trying not to be annoyed about messages I'm hearing that are still low vibrational as we're truly supposed to be heading into a high vibrational um, energy. But anyway, so I'm watching this. This is from Mr. MBB3, whatever, 3, okay? Just because it's it, I'm, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm watching this video, and this is over in the uh, United Kingdom, okay? This was taken by a Camden, Cam, Camden, anyway, this is for, this is for educational purposes is why I'm showing you this. This is over in the UK. And this channel is saying how this is smoke from the fires over in California. Smoke is not red, all right? Ask anybody, any fire person, smoke is not red, especially over in the UK. Thousands of miles away, it wouldn't be red. Do you see this right here? That is a celestial object. So isn't that right there? And that is supposed to be our sun, okay? I believe this is a moon of whatever this is, but hey, that's just me. And this is, you know, something that goes with this whole thing. That's just how I see it. But this, this color, that is called red iron oxide dust from Nibiru. If you are reading up on Nibiru and you know about Nibiru and all that being here, you'll see what I'm saying. This is not smoke. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of miles away from the shores of California. Smoke is not red. Smoke before fire. I mean, we're back to the basics, guys. If we have to go there, we can go there. This is a planet that is with Nibiru. I have to look up the name of the planet. It's a purpley planet. This is the red eye. Actually, I think it's Nibiru. Um, and this is the red eye and oxide dust. It's all in the ancient text. They carved it into rock to tell us. They, they, it was so important for us to know about this that they carved it into rock to let us know. This is red, red iron oxide dust. This is not smoke. And to sit there and, and say to people who may not know, okay? I mean, there are people that don't know. You know, they'll just see and be like, oh yeah, look at all that. When have you ever seen red smoke? Right? I know you're with me here. This is a planet right there. Celestial object. Whatever Nibiru is. I believe, personally, it is a ginormous organic ship. Okay? I do. I say this of sound mind, body, and spirit. I trust my guides. I've done readings on it and other people I connect with um, also understand this. I mean, we don't know that we're really on a planet. I mean, we've been shown a round model from day one being here. Hey, this is where we live. Here's a ball. You live on a ball. So we've been told. We don't really know. Unless you can honestly, like, remote view. I think we're a circle. Uh, I don't know if we're, if we, you know, I don't know. Anyway, my belief system has nothing to do with this. Just showing you. You can use your own discernment. This is an object right there. This, it might be all one big object that fades from purple into red into orange. Absolutely. Because, I mean, look at how it's cut off there. And um, Nibiru looks like that. It has, like, um, I'm going to have to figure out how to... Re I'm still learning how to record a lot of stuff. I usually do oracle cards and stuff like that. But I'm here to... I understand about Nibiru. And I'm not all-knowing, nor will I ever claim to be. <clears throat> but I'm connected to that. I'm not separate from that. You're not separate from that. We're connected to this. To me, that looks like a portal. Like we could just... Like something's opening up. But that's how I see the world. That is not smoke, long and short of it. My basic message is this is not smoke. Please don't fall for everything that you hear other people say. All right, trust your own soul. 
Heck, you don't even have to believe. Maybe you believe that is smoke and that's okay if that works for you. But smoke is not red or orange or pink. Smoke is black and dark and gray and yucky. This is beautiful light. Look at that. It might actually wake your penile gland up more. I don't know. But I was guided to come on and record this. And I trust my guides. I work with Archangel Michael. I truly do. I'm here to help awaken you if you're not already awake. Because you are divine love and you are divine light. You are divine love and you are divine light. Please don't let anybody tell you different because of the color of your damn skin. That makes me cry. That is such a limited belief that we are truly supposed to be getting out of. We live in such a dense reality. Okay, we came here to experience the duality of this 3D reality. And I truly believe, and I am also guided to tell you that only the strongest of the strongest souls could do this journey. See, no small potatoes being here. It's not. It takes a highly divine soul to come through this realm of existence because you forget where you just came from. Okay? Because you forgot. Because this is such a dense reality and it was a risk to come here because we knew we would forget about where we just came from. That you just came from divine love and you just came from divine light. Whether that was, and it, there's no time there. There's no time in other realms, only in this realm. And I can honestly tell you that because I've crossed over a few times. And I do, one of my experiences, I, I, came, I came through the veil and, they, and I said, wow, I was gone a long time. And they, they, my guides, my, my, all the angels that are on the other side <laughs> helping us said, in your time, if we had to, basically long and short of it, if it, if it had to be a time frame, it would only have been three minutes, how long we've truly been versus this time, meaning the density of here, okay? It's a very dense realm. Maybe we have different meat suits because of the vibration of our soul. Okay. I do believe that. But we are all made up of Mother Earth. We have all her same components. DNA, it's a whole different thing. Okay, maybe that has to do with the vibration coming through your meat suit. But again, really, it hurts my heart to hear another star brother talk about that. Still, and I get it. I'm told because he's a messenger for that. And I honor that. And I do. I do. Because we are all messengers here. And believe me, there are soulless things here as well. They're not of the light. And Nibiru is here to help us remember that. This is, this is what's waking us up. This energy. This is an energy right here. It's an energy. Electrons, neutrons, protons, all of its energy. Magnetic energy, kinetic energy, electric. We're all connected to this, no matter what. It really hurt me earlier, and, and, and it did to hear it, because I, I honor this person's soul, because I have talked to him in other realms. And... um. Actually, they were the ones that told me that was, that was just their mission here. And he is a light being. Doesn't mean he's a low vibrational. Just means he's on his mission. But whew, if you're still about the DNA makeup of your damn meat suit, I don't know. Yeah, it's all connected. I'm not saying it's not. And I don't know it all. But I trust my soul. And because I... I am not of a certain race does not mean I don't have a soul. I am definitely a soul being having a temporary human experience just like you. This was an experience to have. A deep one. A dense one. A heavy one. But our Heavenly Father right there through the realms, through there, whether you believe it or not, we have love and light on the other side that we are all connected all of us. 
Unless you are a uh, part of the program, because we are in some kind of program, and we are. That's why I don't get, there are causes, absolutely, to speak for passionately through your soul. Be careful of them, because part of them are part of the program that's just part of the program that's just going to keep running. And I truly hope that makes sense to you. It's just a program that's supposed to play out the way it's supposed to play out. How much you insert yourself into that program, okay? Because that's what it is. Careful. A lot of you got lost in that. And we came here to wake you up. To get out of the program. Yes, you have a soul purpose here and, and a mission. And to help others awaken and, and stand in their truth and their sovereignty. Amen to that. However, as I said, 1044 when I said that. Careful how much you get caught up in this matrix. Because a lot of us came here to remind you of that. It's time to go. It's just, it's time to go. Mother Earth is moving forward. Mother Earth is moving forward. We are to go with her. Not the political bullshit. That's a program. All of that. The organized religion. All of that is part of a program. And you've been in a program for a while. Hell, me too. Okay, I know I've done many lives in this. I've been Native American. I've walked these lands as an Indian. Indian. I've been tortured. I've died for my love of God and Christ, the Creator. Absolutely. I have been a slave in a past life. I have been beaten. I remember my past lives. I remember being with... I, I think I actually was Isis. And I, I don't say that lightly either. I'm definitely connected with Isis and Osiris and Anubis. And uh, I'm definitely aware that the ancient Anunnaki are here. I'm connected. We're not separate. My star brothers and sisters, we are not separate. Okay? And this is, that's not smoke. And don't let some dude on a channel say, hey, that's smoke. All right? Even though I'm such a, I'm a dudette on a channel telling you it's not smoke. But what have you learned about smoke right, right out of kindergarten? What color is it? Okay, so be careful who you're listening to because not everyone has your highest good at hand, okay? There are many of us on here helping you awake and more. And I mean, I'm awakening more. I don't know it all. I don't have it all the answers and I'm on this journey with you. But I remember we came down to volunteer here to help you get out of this grid that you're in. The matrix is going to play out the way it's going to play out. Careful how much you insert yourself in it time to ascend do the soul work release the bondage of this 3d world connect in with the energy of mother earth she's an energy not a 3d density she's an energy you you came down here to experience this duality world because you are the most strongest most high of the high vibration some of you, I feel like you can probably choose because of free will to stay dense. Some of you have lost your soul along the way. You know, and I don't say that lightly either. I've seen too much on this journey. We are in light and dark. And we walk a fine line. And you walk in the line? Because I'm walking the line. Careful who you're hearing and listening to. This is a very crucial time in the ascension. Archangel Michael, I hear him and I trust him and Metatron and Gabriel and Raphael, Yeshua. Okay, those are just names, but they're divine energies. And they don't look like what we've been programmed to believe either, because I know a lot of things are seen as believing, and I get it. Archangel Michael is not pale white. You know, no, no. I, I, I see them as birds. To really be honest with you, huge, regal, freaking winged beings. So, anyway. My beautiful star family. Galactic love, galactic light. It's all love. Love is the most divine power there is. Stay in the light. And that is not smoke. That is to activate your DNA. I really love you. Peace, love, and light.